So I call these the, the, the power principles of the kingdom. And it is, once again, an important decision that I've got to come at it a very different way than how the world would. And probably the reason I'm starting with the issue of money is because it's a pretty big thing. And nowhere is the oppositeness, if I could distort the language for a moment, nowhere is the you got to be kidding me greater when it comes to God's way as opposed to our ways than in the subject of our money. You actually care about it a great, great, great deal. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay. When you think about it, just, just again, in, in sort of isolated manner, if we have a choice between which hand we would like to provide, have be the one that provides for us, and you think in terms of what does God own, and what could he get his hands on in the next 24 hours? You know, if there's some drama or some crisis, what could God get his hand on in 24 hours as opposed to what you and I own and what we could get our hands on in 24 hours? Even if we did rob a bank every 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? It's a fairly limited amount. And what God has at his disposal compared to what you and I have at our disposal, it's not even really a contest. And so the issue we're going to see isn't primarily whether God is able to do what he says he's able to do to provide for us. The issue has more to do with what we believe is true about God. Will he make use of all that he has to take care of me with the little that I have? It is a decision that we will make about what we think is true of God.